The next question is a whiteboard question. This is a question that can't be automatically created, but is very useful to let students indicate and draw things on an image or just a plain whiteboard. Of course, you can add an explanation as well, so students can compare their answer to the expected answer that the teacher added. Click on the question to configure. First, I'm going to add my question. In this case, my students have to draw their favorite animal. They have to use a type tool to indicate five distinctive characteristics of that animal. They can click on the star icon to add stickers representing the animal's biome or upload a background image of where they live. Explain why they choose that sticker or image. So in this case, they get a whiteboard. If you just click on preview, you can see how this looks like for your students now without configuring anything else. It would be just a plain whiteboard with your question right here. They have a field, a whiteboard here, and they can start drawing things. So these are the tools they can use. So they can choose a color. This is a pencil, so when they draw something, it's a pencil and they can make it a little bit larger as well. So this is for drawing. When they click on a pencil, they can choose something else. So they can um, make, they can uh, draw straight lines and they can also type things. So they can click on a type tool to add an explanation. Like this. Then they can erase, use the eraser right here, and they can erase different things on their whiteboard. They can zoom in and they can zoom out what they already added to the whiteboard. So they, make it, they can make it bigger or smaller, and they can go step back or forward again if they made mistakes or if they want to change something. They can completely clear the whiteboard if they are not content of what they did. So then they just click on the clear here and then they can start over again. So this is just a whiteboard that they get when you don't configure something else. But let's take a look at other possibilities. I can go back and I change the height of the whiteboard. So now I have this white space and I can change it. I can make it a little bit higher so students have more space to draw on. Then I can add a background image right here. So if I'm adding a background image as a teacher, my students can indicate, draw things uh, and add things on top of that background image. So this is really nice when you are a geography teacher and um, students have to indicate certain parts on a map, they have to draw borders, they have to circle things, they have to draw different countries in different, um, in different colors and so on. So this is really nice. Uh, think about the human body in biology, uh, ask them to um, indicate the heart, ask them to um, circle the lungs and so on. You can, al you can also ask them to name different things on the whiteboard as they can choose the type tool as well. Then you can enable the photo tool. So in this case, I ask my students to upload a background image of where they live. So I'm going to enable them to upload their own image. And then there is something else here. So you can add stickers as a teacher. So these are different kinds of icons, images, students can choose from and add to their whiteboard to make it a little bit nicer or just to give them the right images they have to use in their assignment. So let's add some stickers. So here in my question, I ask my students to click on the start icon to add the stickers representing the animal biome. So I'm going to add stickers for my students they can use that represent different habitats, different biomes. So let's click here. And I store them on, on my computer. You can also import them from your Google Drive or find images online. So now my students will see all these images I added to the whiteboard. When they click on the star icon, I'll show you later on how this looks like for your students. Then I can add, of course, an explanation. 
In this case, it will be interesting because this is a question you have to grade yourself and you still have to give feedback to as a teacher. Um, in this case, you can add a rationale. So if you give your students immediate feedback using the option and the general option that students get the feedback after submitting or just when they click on show answers, then you could show them an explanation about something you expect them to write down. In this case, you could make a drawing yourself, you could um, add some stickers yourself, or um, yeah, just add your own example as a teacher. I'm not going to do this, but this could be something really nice so students can compare their own answer with the feedback of the teacher they get. You can add a hint. In this case, I'm going to add a hint. So I click here. So this is my hint. Visit this website to learn more about your favorite animal. If you have a school license, it's really nice that you can switch to rich text and then you can add a link right here. So I'm going to indicate this website and I'm going to click on the link icon and then I'm going to insert a link my students can use to look up animals and to learn more about the animals or their favorite animal they are choosing to use in this assignment. So confirm and the link will be here. Then I can go back and then I just have to choose the scoring options. This is really important because um, this is the scoring weight. So you can give points, you can give points on this assignment, on this type of question, but you have to indicate, you have to give the points yourself when your students submit this kind of assignment or this question between all the question types you already added. So let's say this is a large assignment, a large question your students have to solve. Um, so this type of question is on um, 10 points. Then I'll go back and then I'm just clicking on preview again to show you how this looks like for your students. Now I changed some things. This is just the same. I didn't add a background image so you cannot see it here, but um, your students can add background images right here by clicking on the photo tool. And there is also the star icon that's here now, so they can click on it and they can choose between the icons I added here. This was one part of the assignment. They can just click on it. So let's say desert. They can click on it. They can move it around. They can make it bigger like this. They can turn it around. And if this is a position they want, they can just click on the checkbox here and then it will be placed. I'm just going to clear it again and I'm going to do it properly. So let's start with an image. So I just chose an image from my computer. Um, this is the habitat of an elephant because the elephant is my favorite animal. So let's make it a little bit bigger like this. Now I'm going to add and to draw my favorite animals. I guess this is clear enough. I'm going to type the five characteristics because that was important as well. So then I could say, okay, I can use the line tool and I can say here, this is one. And then I can use the type tool and I can here type what this characteristic is. and so on and so on. When you scroll down, students can see the hint right here and they can click here to go to the website and then it will jump to, it will open another window and it will jump to that website.